what is your best hair moment? That was not tonight, I'll tell you that. <laughs> and uh, I think I had one good award show when I was working extra on the red carpet. I won Oscars. My hair was on. It was tight that day. <laughs> Other than that, it's it's getting gray right now, so I don't know if I should. You know, I should ask these guys. I, when I'm on stage right there, should I color it or let it go gray? This is your perfect opportunity. You need I to ask. Ask them. I should ask them. You're in a room full of hairstylists. I'm gonna go ask that. I'm gonna <laughs> ask that. I'm gonna go out there and ask that. You need to. And then, is there any hairstyle that you just regret, never gonna do it again? There's a lot, but. <laughs> I think documented on uh, the old sitcom I used to work on, the curly mullet was probably the worst, and it was unintentional and uh, uh, unfortunate. <laughs> At this point, it's sort of taken on a legendary life of its own, though. Yeah, yeah it needs its own Twitter <laughs> handle. So are there any men's celebrity hairstyles that you look to or that you emulate? There's a lot of cool hair out there. Bradley Cooper's got cool hair. Robert Pattinson's got cool, <laughs> cool hair. One of those One Direction kids has really cool hair. <laughs> There's a lot of good styles out there. And, okay, last question. So your wife, does she help you with your hairstyle choices, or does she leave you to your own devices? Yeah, I got to pretty much rock the same sort of clean-cut look for my show, and yeah, I don't have much wiggle room. I used to mix it up a lot, but I can't anymore. <laughs>